been putting out any YouTube videos uh -huh. but I need to get back to it <laughs> so this will probably be the first video that comes back out and then <clears throat> the next one will be um, either a haul or a tutorial probably a tutorial just because I have a few juices and creative ideas flowing that of looks that I really want to do so and I need to do a whole bunch of like updated foundation routines, updated highlight contour videos. Um, I have a lot that I have to do and I am going to stick with this. Um, so yeah, so right now I'm on this whole no heat to my hair, <clears throat> direct heat. So like no flat iron, no curling iron. So this is a roller set sitting under the, the dryer. No more dyeing my hair for a while until it gets back healthy. So that is my goal. It gets so tempting to straighten my hair and see um, it straights because it's so much, I feel like it's so much easier to manage. I'm really gonna get back on it. On the grind to pumping out videos for y'all and for me, but pumping out these videos. Because I always get asked questions. <coughs> so, yeah. I think is there anything else? Alright, so I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, a new day. So, today I'm again headed to work. But, doo -doo -doo -doo, I'm really feeling my makeup today like bronze-esque feel with the, like the popping red lip reminiscent of the holidays i'll take it um so yeah today i really have not been doing much of anything um cleaning up um had somebody come over to the house to fix some stuff um but yeah today was like really not much going on Tomorrow, I'm also going to be washing clothes and doing laundry. Um, tonight, we are going to the gym. Um, so, I really need to get it in because I sort of kind of cheated today. Um, yeah. So, Mama got to get back. And I need to get back to this food meal prepping thing. So, that's something else I'm going to try to do tonight. I'm going to try to cook a meal um, to kind of last. For a couple of days um ooh, working on the road okay okay um yeah so we are going to make some meals that will last us through the week so we can stay healthy and on track as it comes to meal prepping um so that's something we're gonna do today um what else what else the gym we're gonna go We'll probably go around to the gym around 11 30 11 o'clock that's when we normally go we try to go earlier but it never ever seems to work out so we're gonna try to go to the gym around 11 11 30 um because i really want to be back home and in bed shower bed by 12 30 12 45 the gym is like good thing the gym is like literally five seven minutes away so it's not like a long distance to get there but yeah i want to be in the, in home at home and everything by 12 45 in bed um which fingers crossed that happens but it's probably not gonna happen but i'm gonna speak positivity it's another thing like i was supposed to get up and go to the gym this morning but I feel like I've been so tired. And I know where it all stemmed from. It stemmed from me going to the gym last week and didn't go to bed until like 3 o'clock in the morning, 2 30, 3 o'clock. 
So that kind of kicked off and went to bed at 2 30, 3 o'clock. Gotta be back up at 6 to wake the kids up. And then I'm like, never, I, it's not rest. And then I wake up, I sleep for like an hour, get back up, take, get my little girl together, feed her. And then from there, I'm always on the go. So I haven't got like really good sleep. I mean, like, really good sleep. If you know what I'm talking about, leave a comment down below. But I need really, really good sleep. That's, that's what I need in my life. Really good sleep. If I can get really good sleep, like just one day of really deep sleep, I will be rejuvenated and I will feel so much better. So, yeah, I need really good sleep. Really good sleep. <laughs> I know, I know you guys feel like that at times. Got to. Got to. I know they are pissed. <laughs> I remember watch people just driving and then she just cut over in front of somebody when he was kind of going like almost full speed. Oh, I'd be pissed. I hate people that can't drive. Or speed up to get in front of you and then go five miles per hour. Or the ones that ride your butt when you're already going like 80. And it's like, sir, and why are you, why, why, why? If you were in a rush, you should have left five minutes earlier to get to your destination five minutes faster. Don't ride my butt because you left late. Like, I just never understand it. And can I have half the pumps of vanilla? And then can I add two pumps of toffee nut and two pumps of hazelnut? And an extra espresso shot. Okay, so you said a venti ice caramel macchiato with half the pumps of vanilla, two pumps of toffee nut, two pumps of hazelnut, and an extra shot? Yes. All right, will that be it for you? That is it. Have your settle out the window. Thank you. Thank you. Starbucks, 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 Starbucks. Oh, this wants to be so good. So amazing. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. Tell me if you know where this one comes from. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so <laughs> who knows where that comes from if you know where that came from you are truly <coughs> you know hey guys so we are at my baby's practice Ooh, I'm here. we are at my baby's practice oh the sun is shining but we are at his wrestling practice and yeah today has been a really chill day um i don't know if i'm getting sick or if it's my allergies but huh, today has been a day it's been like a little bit of a struggle um but laundry's gotten done well whoa, 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 let me rephrase that not all of the laundry has gotten done i started the laundry process and um so Clothes are washing, vacuuming. Um, I didn't even get a chance to meal prep yesterday like I wanted to. So I'm going to try to knock that out today. Seeing as though practice ends pretty early. Usually it's like a late practice day. So we probably usually, normally don't get home until, practice usually over like 8. So we probably don't get home until like 8.30. Um, sometimes 9 if I let them stay or if I let him stay and play around for a little bit after practice is over with um so singing that today's practice is early we should be home around 6 6 30 i should be able to meal prep get things done breakfast meal prep lunch meal prep and then figure out what we're gonna eat for tomorrow's dinner yeah i just look sick i don't know i feel a little blah i don't know I know, and I just tried these new pills, supposed to help the immune 
Babe got them for me um, for my allergies. He said he read up on it and it got a lot of reviews, good reviews, positive reviews on Amazon. So we are going to see how that works. Hopefully it works because I feel like I'm always coughing and it's not like I'm coughing up mucus, but it's not like green mucus. It's like clear mucus. So when I went to the doctor, they're like, oh yeah, it's just you have really bad allergies. And I'm like... <clears throat> I've never known for allergies to do this and I've never had allergies this bad up until I had my daughter so yeah we're gonna try that out um but yeah so right now we're just chilling in wrestling practice and waiting for that to be over with and then my face has been burning like can <coughs> you see all of this like let me tilt my head with the light all of this has come like all of this has come from that freaking algenist collagen booster serum when i tell you that that thing messed my skin up like it burnt me like it, it burnt me like i put it on and within seconds like legit seconds my face was like had bumps and texture all around here especially underneath my lip and I washed my face off because I was like I well first I was like babe come come look at my face because maybe I'm over analyzing or I'm just seeing things and I'm like do you see all of this like breakout like instantly like reaction and um he looked and he was like yeah I see that so I went to wash it off and as I'm washing it off my face was like irritated and burned like with the soap that I'm using and the soap that I'm using is sensitive so I'm like I, I, I don't know but I won't be using that again and that's like almost like an $80 bottle and um, thank the lord I didn't have to purchase it but if I would have purchased that, I would have been pissed. Like, highly freaking upset pissed. So, with that being said, um, yeah, I can't, I, I won't be using that anymore. <clears throat> and their face moisturizer. So, I don't know if it, well, it had to have been the serum. Because I put the serum on first and then I put the face moisturizer on top. So, either one of those did it. And I'm not trying to figure out which one because it's not that serious for me to... <coughs> absolutely used use either one of those like i don't have time to sort through the two to figure out which one it is because it, it's not that deep but it did mess my skin up and yeah so like today my underneath my eyes was so dry like i washed my face and underneath was just so dry and i've never experienced that before so i lathered on um cocoa butter to kind of soothe it but this morning my face was like feeling all types of craziness then i put this dr jart mask on so my face feels a lot better now um but my eyes were really itching and today was just not a good day hey guys so we are going to get this day started are you excited i'm excited so we have to head to the nail salon and then I have a couple more errands to run. Um, no bail. A um, couple more errands to run. And yeah, so it is nine. No, is it nine o'clock? It's going on 10 o'clock. So we did get an early start. So the foundation that we are testing today is the Hourglass Vanish Liquid. Um, Yes, so that's the one we're testing out today. Um, I wore it the other day. Um, um, it wore pretty, um, but I switched out the primer. So we are going to see how this primer works with it. I have on the face and body primer with it today. Um, last time I think I wore, oh, last time I wore the Kat Von D for, um, primer with it. Um, so the hydrating primer. 
so this face and body primer is by mac it is a thinner formula um it actually feels really good on the skin um so yes i noticed when i wore the kat von d with it it kind of wore a little heavy um i don't know if it's because the kat von d primer is a little heavy or if um i don't know it just didn't wear too like it wore pretty but it didn't wear how i'd like it to wear so um yes so today we have on the face and body primer with it well face base and the hourglass stick oh as far as concealer i have on the um fenty and i also tried a new powder and it was the huda powder and i love that powder i tried cool off did I try cool off i think i did try cool off and i think that's the color that i do have and i i've never fallen instantly in love with the powder like i've always like the laura mercier powder um i liked it i always went back to it um so i wouldn't say like i loved loved it but i liked it enough to where i would repurchase it um but i've never instantly fell in love with the powder and i instantly fell in love with that powder um i guess it's because it's so finely milled like i wanted to love the fenty as much as i love the huda does that make sense like i wanted to instantly fall in love with fenty and fenty was not giving it to me so i'm actually thinking about returning my fenty in banana and getting another huda powder powder one a little lighter so we have to get some gas and then we will be on the road to the nail salon to have an 11 o'clock appointment so we'll be doing that and then yeah all right now we need to go to starbucks all right i need my starbucks so <laughs> that's what we headed to now Good morning. Can I please have a venti ice caramel macchiato? Ready? We're gonna do a venti ice caramel macchiato. What else And then can I have half the pumps of vanilla for that? And then can I add um Two pumps of toffee and two pumps of hazelnut. Ready, no problem. And then can I also is the bacon and guru good? You said the bacon good? Yeah, the bacon um and egg and the little egg thing. Egg bites. The bacon egg bites. Are they are they good? Yeah, they're really good. Uh, Do you want to add those to the order? Please. Of course, will I complete your order? Yes. Please have forty eight. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, if these things are not good, she's taking these back. Politely taking these back. Because I don't want them if they're not good. I'm trying to be healthy. But if they're not good, I don't want them. So, we will be at the gym tonight. After I wash my makeup off. But this makeup looks really good, y'all. Like, me looking at it, it looks flawless. Flawless. It is like matte. And I think that I think I did that. Um, cause it's supposed to be a natural finish, but I think I mattified it when I put that powder, um, even underneath my eyes look really good. And like I was telling y'all like that Fenty, um, concealer, it's a good concealer. It just does not go well with the powder that it's supposed to be with. Um, so with that being said, when I set it with this Huda, this Huda actually looks bomb. This Huda looks really, really good. So I don't, I don't, I don't know. That powder, it, it, it's the powder. I'm convinced it's the powder because. All right. So, um, but yeah, like I was saying, the foundation looks really good, but I won't be setting it next time around my mouth. Um, like I typically I go from here to here. I won't be doing that because it does look a little dry um, on the top sides of my mouth, above my lips. It looks a little dry. Um, but that also can be fixed with the hydrating face spray. Today I use the Urban Decay um, 
all night of dinner. Why do they always put so much caramel in this? I never understand this. Like, yes, yeah, a caramel macchiato, but I don't need all this damn caramel. It's like chunks of caramel. Sorry for springtime, not for my allergies, but just the weather in general. And then it's our family vacation. So I'm really excited about that to get away with kids and babe and just have fun. Relax. You know, just enjoy quality time. So I'm really excited about that actually. And then my daughter, you know, she's a little older now. 18 months. So you know. really you know showing her personality now and it's gonna be so cool just to see her interact in springtime like last year she was she was she wasn't one yet she was not one yet and you know although she was interacting you know she was still learning now she's like talking up a storm and tells you what she wants. So, it's gonna be so cool to see how she gets racks on this trip, because we always drive down. So it's gonna be cool to see how she, you know. It's gonna be really cool to see how she acts. Nails done, check. It is 12.25, so that was good timing. Now I think I want to, we're not gonna see Adrian, so um, I need to turn this heat up because I'm in the cold. And it's not even really cold outside, it's just windy. Um, I guess we could check up on the foundation. The foundation is holding up pretty good. Um, Pretty, pretty, pretty good. What the heck is on my face? I'm, I'm speed the lighting. Okay, but the foundation. Okay, yeah, that's the lighting. Foundation is holding up pretty good. Let's take a look. Um, so we have had it on for three hours now. Um, no complaints. No creasing. Um yeah it's, it's actually looking very 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 good um it's not looking as dry around my mouth right now um but other than that it's actually looking very good i'm so surprised not even surprised because i know hourglass is really good but it's been a somewhat mixed reviews on the foundation so yes now we are going to ugh, now that we have that out the way, nails done, we are going to head to, I kind of want to stop at Ulta really quick just to see what's there. Um, so that's what we're going to do. But I just want to literally want to spend like 20, 25 minutes in Ulta. And that's it. No more, no less. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else? I think that's it i'm really in love with my nails i love them so much that is so pretty pretty can you see hold on oh there we go so pretty i'm in love with them he did a really really good job i was really nervous i hate trying new people because you know sometimes it's a fail but he did really really good oh and this lip so i've used this lip before it is the morphe liquid lipsticks and this is what I will say about the Morphe Liquid Lips. They are extremely drying. The first time I wore it, the color was ap like so gorgeous, but it was extremely drying. So, um, it just dried my lips out, it kind of crumbled, but I found a way to wear it. Um, and that is by me applying, of course, my lip conditioner, you know, lip moisturizer, lip mask or whatever. First, I lock that off and then I go in with a lip liner and it's more of like a creamy lip liner like the Milani lip liners are really good because they're creamy 
So I went in with that first and then I put the liquid lipstick on top and that kind of gave it, it's giving a little stay power to where it's not so drying, but it does look drying on the lips. Um, I can, it's emphasizing my lines, um, but the color is so pretty. So I'm just like, <sighs> the color is like phenomenal. I love, 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 love the color. It's like an orange um, type of color. I just love it. I just love it, love it, love it. So, um, yeah. Across the street. All right. Ulta, check. Ulta, I got what, what did I get a new one of those um, new lippies from uh, let me adjust the camera okay one of those new lippies from NYX they're like the real thin ones where you can line them and fill them I really love those formulas so if you're looking for a new liquid lip try those because those are amazing they're so comfortable on the lips they feel so good they last a long a really really long time actually um they don't crumble like they're just so smooth um so try those they're like super thin and then what else did i get oh just some um a morphe brush i wanted to test it out because i hear everybody talking about this this brush and I want to see if it's as good as it's, everybody's talking about that M439, like the buffing brush. And I want to try it out also with this foundation. Okay, so here is what it's looking like now. Don't mind this mess back here. But yes, this Ready? is what it's... I think you're done. Because it needed to be charged. But... This is what it's looking like now. I think I'm going to wash my face off. Um, but it lasted a really long time, as you can see. Um, yeah, so this is just a close-up. Everything is still intact. Um, I don't know if you can kind of tell, but around here, it looks a little drier than I would like it to look. But like I said earlier, that was my fault and how I said it. Um, what's my fault and how I said it next time I will remember not to bring the powder down that far but the foundation definitely held up the concealer actually I don't know if you could tell but it is creased a little bit along here um, but typically let me look in a better mirror yeah it creased but I have creasing under my eyes anyways um, so a little buff out kind of makes it better um i do think that the fenty concealer is okay it's not something that it's a must-have i don't even know if it's going to be a repurchase but i love the huda powder like i said earlier the huda powder was the bomb um foundation is like a plus a one in love with it i can definitely see myself repurchasing it again um it lasted for a very long time and I'm normal to dry. I don't feel like I have a lot on my face. Um, when I touch it, I don't feel like a lot of transfer. Um, so yeah, that, that foundation is there. like, it held up very, very well. Remember we had it on since nine, nine this morning. It is now, it is now, what time is it? <laughs> it is now five, five, almost 5.30. Well, it is 5.30, it's like 5.40. Oh no, 522. So we had it on for roughly 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8 hours now. And it held up very well. No cracking, no cracking around my mouth. Um, it didn't really settle into my smile lines, which is A1. So yes. Yeah, if you can get your hands on it, I, I definitely suggest you picking it up. It's quickly become one of my favorites and I do see myself repurchasing it so I hope that um, I, I hope that helped um so yeah that is the wear test for today I will talk to you guys in the next video bye